You've been so excited about this workshop all week. How was it? <laughs> it was great, I think. We spoke about things that are usually kind of awkward to speak about. Like what? We mostly spoke about our lives, sex, bodies, relationships, and the importance of sexual consent. Oh, tell me more. All right, let me start with this story John told us. John spoke about his own hesitation. He felt that all his friends were having sex, but he did not feel ready yet. They pressured him by telling him stories. They would say, we did it like this. We bought her this gift. You can invite her. This is how it feels. The trainer shared that boys can take their time too. She said we may feel peer pressure, but we can decide when we want to do it. I was a little surprised. I did not know that boys thought about this. Oh, in movies and shows, boys are always ready for sex. Yeah, I thought only girls felt the pressure to have sex. You know, I've been thinking about Alex too. I told everyone in the group this story. Alex and I have already had sex and it was great. But I think now they expect us to have sex all the time. The other day, they invited me over got me a present and offered to pay for my travel to their place. I felt like seeing them, but I knew if I went, they would expect sex. I do like sex, but I don't always want to do it. I don't know how to talk to them about this. It seems easier just not to visit them. I don't really know who to speak to about this. My mother maybe? I feel my confusion will make Alex think I don't love them, or worse, they will leave me. I asked the trainer what is the best way of saying yes or no to sex. She explained that sometimes we speak through our words and other times through our body. Maybe we get stiff. Or we feel excitement in our body. Maybe we lean into a kiss. Or we hold their hands fast. She says it's best to communicate openly and clearly with our partners and to make decisions we are both comfortable with. She reminded us that information and services are important and that we should protect ourselves. I wish I had learned about relationships and consent before. OMG, I can relate. Even now, I still find consent really complex. I really want to learn more about it. Well, Sophia's story may be interesting for you. It's quite different, but in a really good way. Sophia told us how she really enjoyed sex with her boyfriend. She likes it even more now that she's a bit older and more experienced. She shared how attracted and connected she felt to him. It really sounds like they have a great relationship. She felt confident and safe with him and he makes her feel so good about herself. We were all so curious about how she got to this place and had such a positive experience. She told us about a comprehensive sexuality education her and her boyfriend had received. They had learned about relationships, gender and sexual diversity, self-sex and female pleasure, and had even gone to get condoms together. Sophia is also very close to her parents and is able to confide in them. Wow, that sounds amazing. Yeah, you know, it's so weird talking about this openly, but it feels good when we speak. Why do I find it easier to give hints than say directly what I feel? Does my partner do the same? Would it be possible to tell my parents or even ask for their advice about sex and relationships? I wish I had learned more about my body, sex and relationships sooner. Was thinking about you. Maybe we can talk about this next time we meet. I have learned lots of new things I want to share with you.